Yo, people, what is up? Sorry about, A, the noise, because the dog's chewing something very crunchy in the background. And, um, B, not much I can do. I kick him out, but he's old, right? He, he matters, right? You, you can ignore that. And B, I've been away for five days, been running a conference called The War on Health Number 2. And, um, that doesn't work. Um, and then what? So that's it. Anyway, so this is a training game. I'm playing Dennis, Zinster 54. So were you born in 1954? You were older than me? Sorry. Um, okay, so this is now, what is this? If I go E5, we've transposed into a, a Vienna, haven't we? Okay, I'm not going to do I'm just going to keep things interesting. I'm going to play the move D6. It unleashes one bishop. He'll have finished that in a minute. Don't worry about it. Bentley, you done? What can we do? Okay, so this is announcing a fianchetto, which means it would be a very good idea to block this pawn off. Because when this bishop comes here, it's going to be in its way. Um, it doesn't mean anything for my dark squared bishop because that's blocked in any way because of the move d6. So, is that a bad move? Well, we don't know yet. Sometimes bishops can chill, right? In the French defense, you get a bishop that chills. Right? In the French defense, it's this bishop when you're black. You've put your pawn here and very often like here. And this bishop's quite bad. Huh. A premature h3. Okay, I'm unconvinced about that. Sorry. He's an old man, you know. You guys matter, but he matters as well. And I'm not going to kick him out of the room just because he's chewing very, very loudly. Okay, now, so what I want to be thinking about is um, the future of this bishop. And obviously it ain't going to any of these squares in a hurry, which means we don't have many options, right? And I'm wondering about the bishop, the, the square b7. That's what I'm thinking about. b7. This guy can come here. He could fear in Keto, but then that depends on this pawn moving, which, yeah. Oh, that was a mouse slip. That was a mouse slip. Oh, dear. Oi, oi. This is your fault, because you're, you're being really noisy. Okay, so Dennis is rated 1434, so he's 140 po points lower rated than me. And does he see the cunning trap that I've just laid for him? I mean, he just needs to take the pawn, basically. And then we're going to have our work cut out. Fortunately, it's an unrated game, these training games. So. Hmm. So I've got a, a bad DSB. We, we know this. This bishop has options. Why have you moved there? That doesn't help, does it? That's just as noisy. Shall I send him like a cheeky, I'll send him a cheeky kind of angry face just to see, just to pretend that, oh no, he's, he's not fallen for it. He's, he's capitalized on the old blunder. Okay. Right, I'm gonna put my bishop here and hopefully try and fool Dennis into thinking that there's a cunning plan, which there isn't, but quite right. You know, your opponent appears to, appears to make a mistake. Verify it is a mistake. Okay, so we've now tricked him into uh, spending two moves to capture a pawn, which is probably a very good investment of time on his part. So this is like a kind of gambit that we've uh, accidentally played. So what we've got in terms of compensation is all of, all of our minor pieces out in the board. Bentley, fuck's sake. He's got loads of it left as well. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. No, nobody wants to see you either. 
No, they don't care about either of you. No, they don't care. She's missed me. I've been away for five days. Did you miss your daddy? Did you? How am I supposed to focus on the stupid game? Okay. And you smell. Get down. Get down. I know I love you too. I know I love you too. See what I have to put up with. I know. Okay. Good girl. Right. Hmm. Okay, so Knight G E E two has been played. Go away now. Go on, get down. I know. Yeah. I can't take. He's going to want to castle. I think we just castle here, and then we think about how to attack. I think we're already somewhat on the back foot. We've got a nice kind of development. We're just missing a pawn. That's not the end of the world. That is not the end of the world. <sighs> what can you do? Right, this is still a bad bishop. This knight is actually pinned by my bishop. Can I go in? You take me, I take you. You take one of my pieces, I take the knight. It's a thought. Should I also be... I'm also thinking now about maybe ganging up on this this pawn, you know, with this h3 move. I'm thinking something like this, queen and bishop here, and then try and win the pawn. He's going to, he should be playing king h2. I've played this very badly already. You can cough. No, nobody wants you either. Okay, interesting move, d4. That's a sign of a mature player. Right, sorry, I'm gonna, kicking him out. Oi, out, come on. Take it out. You are joking, you finished it now. You finished it. He's finished it. Okay. <clears throat> right. Okay, takes. Takes. He's not going to take with the queen. Takes, he takes with the knight. One attacker there. This is not happy days, guys. I don't push. My knight's kind of running a bit low on places to go. I've got to open it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna fess up that that um, that B five was a mouse slip. Okay, so he's taken here. Right, I'm gonna centralise my knight. I think is the way to go. Now it's that knight's also stopping my bishop from going there. This is very annoying. There then. He comes in. He gets kicked. That's okay. All right, we have our work cut out. I think though that my target is this pawn. Now what I'm not sure about is whether, you've got one now as well. Well, that's splendid, that is. That's just brilliant, that is. That's fantastic. I know, but she says, Daddy, I love you and I've missed you so much. <sighs> yeah, he says, I thought it was a clever sacrifice. Not a bit of it, my friend. It was a, uh, Silly blunder. Well, it's a mouse. A slip is different to a blunder. A blunder you do on purpose. <laughs> you can move back here. Yeah? Anyway. Oh! Oh! It's getting all aggro with me here. Pushes. Here it pushes, I come back into the center. That's fine. And the plan is still this. I don't think I want to put my bishop here. Well, I definitely don't want to put it, put it there into the line of a, walking straight into the path of a pawn fork, do we? This is defended twice. Oh, my goodness. 
of humanity. There. Okay, you take... Hang on. No, no, no. You take back, I take back. That was too aggressive. Still got my eyes on this. Okay, now this looks like a free port. I also quite like the look of this pin, but I don't see any reason why it's not a free pawn. Ah. Oh. Bugger. Well, here I'm attacking his rook and his bishop at the same time. But he can solve that problem with this move. However, look at that king. Okay, currently he's up a rook for a pawn. But he's lost four pawns. Ping, 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 ping. I'm rusty. I'm going to get my excuses in now, you know. Now, come on, the move is bishop g2. It's obvious. I can come here with tempo on the queen. Is there any point? This puts two attackers on there. Can he summon up a second defender? Yes, he can. And it helps him to develop. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So we do this. Um, we're doing very badly, guys. I'm sorry. There. Just doesn't work. He's got three attackers. We may, we might have to play. <laughs> we'll see how we get on. Only 10 minutes in, isn't it? But yes, I had a lovely weekend. Thank you for asking. The uh, conference went very well. Although, the problem is that because it was Easter weekend, no one turned up. Well, we had 50 people came. Okay, that is also annoying. Because it's a discovered attack on my queen. Now, I don't want to be trading queens when I'm down four points of material. And after this, he's got two attackers on the bishop. So I have to play this. And he can just now simplify to his heart's content and go on to win. So, right, he can trade queens. I don't want to trade queens. Why? Because I'm four points of material down. I have a check, and that's what I'm going to play first. Just to muddy the water. Now, he can't block with the bishop, because it's not defended. So he legally cannot take my queen right now. I may play queen c8. Um, here. He's going to end up blocking... Putting the rook or the queen in the way. I have no good checks. I've got to trade because otherwise, I, if I just move, I mean, I could have played that, but then he, he trades off anyway. Yeah, not good. Not good. At least I have the bishop pair for what that's worth, which isn't a lot. Okay, now here I'm, I'm noticing this. So it would be nice to put my knight on one of these two squares. This one or this one. But that ain't going to happen. Yeah, I think I'm going to resign this one. And, uh, and rematch. Because <laughs> that was just... Yeah, sorry, that was awful. I'll, I'll try and concentrate on this one. If you play again. Rematch requested. Okay. Let's 
Try and do it properly. Okay. Right. Current repertoire. The Fangeet. And he's one up. I think... Oh. What fresh hell is this? So this is like trying to go into a kind of a Sicilian, right? Now this would be a close Sicilian. There you go. The close Sicilian. Now... I kind of know what I'm doing here, because I, I might go into a Grand Prix attack, and that could be fun, boys and girls. So let's try that. And I've got up to an hour for this, because then I'm on the uh, GB Carnivore Q&A stream, which we have every Tuesday, about 7pm UK time. Okay. Well, we're going to go into this. No ground. That's not even your chew. You've nicked someone else's chew. What's happened to the one you got? So, this is the idea with the ground. Okay. Ooh. Now, first thing I notice here. Look at all these pawns on the light squares. That makes this bishop very good. This bishop is traditionally bad, and you try quite often try and trade it off uh, like so. I'm going to develop my knight. I am hovering around the 1350s in blitz at the moment, so I'm not feeling all that terribly confident. So here... See, what I want to do is I want to get my king castled. And I want to start attacking up the king side. That's the plan. I could play knight a4 this. Because he knight's under attack. But I don't think my opponent really wants to take that knight. I've got maybe this. Maybe. If I go straight here, I could just get kicked out. I come back to this. Or is it just... I'm just going to play bishop b2. I mean, it's not got great prospects there. I mean, that's a really bad square. Okay. Uh, yeah. See, that's what I was waiting for his knight to come out so I could do this. If the d-pawn moves, I think it's worth spending an extra move with the bishop just to pin the knight and get rid of it. Let's say he breaks the pin, we just trade off light squared bishops. I play d3. Build myself a little light squared pawn chain, and we're doing okay. I am noticing that a few years ago I wasn't thinking light squares and dark squares so much. And it is a sign of the, you know, stronger intermediate. I mean, you start to think about colour complexes a bit more. So that 15, 16, 17, 1800. As you get towards being an, what I would call an expert player. Hmm. Okay, knight g e seven. Previous game we had knight g e two, didn't we? Okay. Castled. It's queen e one. Don't see an immediate threat. I'm still not worried about this. This would be quite pleasant. I might even take the D. Start to open up the D file. It's possible. We've got the candidates tournament coming up. It's exciting. I don't know. I'm, I might try and catch up with some of it. But to be fair, the whole World Championship thing's a bit of a mockery since Magnus pulled out. Which he's perfectly entitled to do. No one says if you're the best in the world, you have to compete. So here we go. Here we relax. Are you, are you chewing now as well? Jesus wept. Okay. And who's done that? Is that you? Was that... I'm not going to say what's just happened. But... 
It's just be grateful that you've only got video and audio, that's all I'm saying. That's eye-watering, Sasha. Well, he's having a good thing now, isn't he? So the general plan, I'll tell you what it is. We bring the queen up over here, right? We throw it our knight in. I could even think about sacrificing Harry here. Seeing as we've got, we're facing a Fianchetto position, an H-pawn sacrifice I think is generally quite a good idea because he, he really wants to keep his pawns like this, right? With the bishop guarding the dark squares. Yeah. So going in and just messing up his stuff might prompt him to play this as well, in which case my, dark, my light squared bishop could give up its, its life for the cause. Hmm. Okay, just going to push d3. We can use the clock against him a little bit. This move doesn't achieve much. It defends this pawn, which was already defended once. It de-encourages this move, which I don't think black was going to play anyway. Maybe. So what are we thinking? Are we thinking queen g3, h4, h5. Try and strip this away, pin that. Knight comes in, queen here, threaten mate on here. Then we get h5, knight comes in. We saw how keen he was to uh, advance his central pawns. Now, question. Again, he's, he's using the central pawn break. Okay. <sighs> Takes, we could, we could clear, clear the way here. If he was to push here, would it upset me? Well, actually, no, I think my knight might be quite happy there. If he takes here, would it upset me? Again, no, I'm going to play. Why did I do that? I think I wanted to put my queen here. I'm just losing it. I've had a really good weekend, though. I told you that already. See? No, because it was the knight I was going to put on that square, you muppet. See, now I, you can see me have an argument with myself. Hi there, Ben. It's been a little while if you missed me. Thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Because I'll always come back. See, down, you know that. Deep down, deep down, you know, I'm always in periphery. Ben, aren't you pleased to see me? It's been weeks since we spoke, bro. I know you need me. Now, I know some of you will know that song. And if you do, you will probably join me into saying, legend. Okay, interesting. We still have our kind of attack pawns here, which could be useful. Having said that, going in here doesn't really work. And also this quiet bishop here is, is performing a duty. Bishops can do that. Even they don't have to move off their home square to play an active role in the game. So I want to open up my dark square bishop at some point. Would this be a good thing? This would like really neutralize these, bishop, these, these pawns here. Yes, they're not, you yeah, know, they can't really move. However, they on the plus side, they are controlling some good real estate in my side of the board. So it's an interesting one. Very interesting one. Might be time. Because especially seeing as he hasn't got his knight on this square. So knight on that square quite often de encourages his h4, h5 ideas or h5, h4 ideas. But he hasn't. He's got his knight on e7. So here, here, the oh. You know, this is forced attention. He's got to do something about it. Let's put it in red for effect. Yes. Thinking there may be something against this, this king over here. So I'm meant to be giving my opponent tips as we go. I don't know. I think he's playing okay. But chess brain is not work at the moment. I'm seriously considering like the movie fight. 
see that move neutralizes let's put these in blue neutralizes them kind of neutralizes this for the time being which also neutralizes this bishop right it's an interesting idea. what the you want to come here or here i don't like either of those moves for you it's not time for this because we want that bishop to move I think I should have put my queen on that square. Queen on that square, then the knight can come round. He hasn't got this, so... Again, I've only used a minute of my time and he's used over five. Material is equal. Only a knight has died on each side. Just need to ponder this more strategically. It blocks off the e file it blocks off the d file it makes his f pawn break critical should he choose to play it now this but what why put your bishop here because that pawn's going nowhere and let well it, yeah okay it kind of is right i'm playing this i'm going to play this and make that a bad move and because i don't think it's about this i think i'm going to be going h file that's my hunch, right? And I think my knight is going to play a role. The question is, does my knight need to come in first in order to play this role? I like this, okay. Now his, his knight's come around kind of a long way. Can't go there, he can't go there. I think this is okay. It prompts this, I can just go back there, or here, or theoretically there. So I think I might need to use my knight to dislodge his knight, but that's actually very not easy to do. I'd have to come three moves around this way. Maybe it's possible. That's a bad bish. That's a bad-ish bish right now, but it's a sleeping one. This is a bad bish. That's Bobar. But it could. You never know. You know? You know? You never know. <sighs> Ooh! You did not. Did he do it? Shut up. Right, I don't want to do this, I don't think. In fact, he's got that as me defended by the knight. And then I'm in true ball. I, well, I'd have to trade. So I'm not liking that idea. This move, better, better idea, I think. This move. Still using the clock like a cock. That's a saying I just made up. And um, you never know. We'll see if, if um, it stands the test of time. But it is a good way of describing a lot of my early over the board career when we're given 75 minutes to play games so I was trying to win them in 15. Because that's like what I knew. But um, time pressure doesn't really isn't really the same when you've got 75 minutes. <sighs> Can I, for example, dodge the king out of the way at some point and play g4 as a break? Takey takey. Ooh, you really don't like my queen. Is this an opportunity to play knight here? See, I'm not unhappy about this situation so far. I don't like my bishop. I don't really like either of his, to be fair. I could play this as well. Or I could just try and dodge out the way. And then play that. And that is what I'm going to do. His knight comes in, it gets et. 
That ain't going to happen. This bishop's going to do nothing. This knight can wheedle its way in, and g3 is certainly a possibility. g3, queen here, knight here, what are you going to do? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. You're expecting me to talk? Ooh, hello. Bad bishop number one, please. Bad bishop number one to square e3. This, this queen can always skedaddle. What's wrong, Zara? Come here. Come on. Come on. Let's say hello to the boys and girls. Come on. All right. There we go. Hi. Hi. You're covered in mud. Okay, what you gonna do? You're down to six and a half minutes. Now, this opponent used to play tournament chess. Back when it was all atoms and boards and stuff. Hello, hello. I know you're trying to put me off. I know what you're trying to do. Has he paid you? Oi, give over. I'm trying to construct. All right, go on, go lie down. Everyone lie down, go on, away. Away, and he's got dementia as well, so he's lo he's lo you're losing your marbles, aren't you, mate? He gets confused, he doesn't know where he is. Okay. Right, I'm going to improve my little bishop here. I'm, first I should... Benley, go away. Go on, go lie down. Go on. If I mouse slip again, I shan't be pleased. Now, what is the point of this move? That's the thing. Is he thinking about this pawn? Do we care? This knight can't do anything about that queen. I'm, I'm thinking of bringing my bishop here. Send her packing. Might even resurrect this idea. Get my rook on g1. In fact... It's a possibility... Oh, hello. Okay, so... Right, so I, I play this and I get checkmated on there. That ain't going to happen. That was the point of the move. He's flipping around to here. So this knight's gone one, two, oops. Yeah. One, two, three, four now. And that's fine if they're good moves, if they're useful. Don't ever be afraid to play multiple moves with the same piece. Don't be afraid to move a piece from a bad position to a good position. Now we attack the queen. And she does one. Right? Because you ain't going to any of these squares. Right? So you've got to go back here. Exactly. Like I said. Right then. I'd love to chase you away more, but I can't. So I think it's time to move my knight. Now, it might be tempting to go after this pawn, but actually, I think that would be a mistake. I think that would be a strategically bad idea. Because we do not want to allow this pawn to move, do we? Now and make this bishop suddenly hero of the hour? No, indeed not. So we want to get this knight, where do we want to get it? We don't know, is the answer. Right, it doesn't want to be, doesn't want to stay there. Where does it want to be that knight? Not there. I don't know. This. Da, da. How can I get my bishop there? I'll stick my queen behind it. It's an idea. Queen f2, bishop here. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. This is it. The f5 pawn break. Okay, and now we have complete closure, right? Uh, except there is one opportunity for white to capture on Passant. I, I must do it on this turn or never at all. <sighs> and that is a very major decision. Right. 
Rook can't take, so I have this. <clears throat> Pinning the Rook on the Queen. If I take on for Sun, it's going to be Bishop takes. But I love the fact that it's really weakened that pawn. The interesting thing is these are still dead. However, if I take on Passant, this pawn becomes mobile. And we'll then start to open things up. Now, let's say we don't. Let's consider that. Hint of the century. Let's say we do this, like we were talking about before. Can I lodge my bishop in there? I think we don't. I've just got this feeling that my bishops have more part to play in this game than his bishops. So I'm not going to take en passant. That's my gut feeling. I'm going with it. Bishop here. Queen runs away. Bishop starts to come in. Go on then. Now again, I've just taken an option away from my knight, but... The knight may serve a purpose later. Could stop a pawn rush. Not the best idea. I mean, knights are pretty slow and clunky. Hmm. Oh, now you decide to chew yours, do you? You can make... Ha! Huh. Okay. And the Queen's decided to go all the way over the other side of the board. There we go. Fair enough. You might get yourself kicked out there, there, lady. These pawns, I don't know. How do we feel about this pawn structure? Queen has to defend this, but... Hang on, how long has that pawn been hanging? Oh, it's just since I moved my queen. I didn't even notice I was attacking that pawn. I don't think it's my intention to try and capture that pawn. Okay, we have two attackers on here now. And it ain't defended at all. That maybe wasn't the smartest move. Could do this. Queen takes here. Queen's then somewhat out of business. But again, I don't really want to do this. Either of these moves here. Takes knight. I might have to. Here. I might have to. But at least it solves the issue of the knight. And then if I can get this pawn in, plug that gap, I still leave this bishop bad, which I think is going to be important. I'm on nine minutes something now. I'm 9.13, he's on 5.13. Okay. This is a queen fork on these two pieces. <sighs> this defends the rook but drops the knight to a pawn. Wait! Stop it. Okay. That defends the rook but. Oh no, that pawn's defended. Okay, hang on. No, this is okay because that pawn is defended. Are we okay here? Takes, takes. Can't take back because there, and then we've. Okay. If I take here, he can have that. If I take here, he does have that. I do this. I think we get away with that slightly. There's still two attackers on here, but you can't take with the queen first because bishop takes, so I don't think 
you got time for that? I mean, you can. You can take it back. This knight's very poor. This bishop's very poor. Okay, now do we attack the queen? No, because that hangs this pawn. Okay, so I'm going to trade off. This is defended. Everything's kind of defended. Okay, he's decided to trade off. Interesting. Okay, now we find ourselves in an ending where I'm a piece up. How the hell did that happen? He sacrificed his bishop for this pawn and it didn't work. That's how it happened. Oh dear. Well, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. <coughs> Right, what I need to do, now the C file becomes critical, yes? We are agreed. Where does my knight want to be? Does it want to be here or here? Or somewhere else? I want to get a rook onto there and I want to say that C file, that's mine, that is. And I think here is the way to go because I'm kind of eyeing up D6. Keeping this pawn here, guiding that. That was really unfortunate. I thought he had me there. But that, he saw <clears throat> two attackers, one defender. So here, why didn't he just take the bishop? Was that his blunder? I think it was, you know. Right, I'm going to do this, or do I want to get a rook there first? That would be a double attack. I think rook there first. And now is when we just say, hey, I'm up on the clock. Right, a bit of psychology, a bit of headology here. Up on the clock. I've got time just to build. And in fact, I have this kind of space advantage, having the, the slight more advanced pawn in the middle. Making life a bit hard still for this, this awkward horse. I've got this. I've got this. I can do that. I can let him take and just take that with the bishop. In fact, if the bishop moves, the rook defends it as well. The king could even come up and defend. This move comes, attacks that, that, and threatens to come here as well. This bishop's poor from the front, but it would be very good if I can get around the back of these light squared pawns. King, queen side is dark squared. I've got a dark squared bishop as well. Look, I've got two bishops. Uh huh. I'm going to do this now and like put the question to the rook. What are you going to do? This is just a very nice outpost square. Also attacking this. Okay. I still have the outpost, but I also have this now. I take, even if you trade rooks, nothing changes. Hmm. Nothing changes. I can come here and trade, try and trade knights. Trades here are good for me. This hits the knight. And also blocks off a lot of options for the king. This hits the knight. Where does the knight go? Can't go there, can't go there. That's not great. Here, and then I hit the knight. Knight has to go back there. Or the rook has to defend. Neither option is wickedly good. Or do I just take the chance to improve my bishop and hit the knight? Knight goes here, I go here. He's got that. I think I'm going to advance the pawn first. On balance, at some point you've got to say, it's time to make a, make a move. Okay, that's good. That's actually a skewer. You take my knight. I can't do this, right? I can't counterattack here because he takes and he defends the knight, which is annoying. I can come here and defend the pawn. That's how to get out of a skewer. I 
undefended, 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 undefended. Defended, 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 defended. What's that attacking? Nothing. Well, it's covering that square, I guess. Okay, now, how do I defend this point? I've got rook there. I've got bishop here and push. I think rook there, actually, for now. I might lift kingy. Um, that means I can't put... But then I can put the bishop there behind the rook, I suppose. Yeah, the bishop's best diagonal into, like, the rear of the board is that, so... He ain't getting through here in a hurry, is he? So the only two options are really that and that. This hits that. This is nice, but now he's got two eyes on there. Does that bother me? Here? Let's say he takes, I take back, he takes. No need. <sighs> I don't know where that bishop's going. I think he's running out of ideas a little bit. But then th this is just a good old fashioned fork, isn't it? Hitting both pawns. Right, Q and A in 15 minutes. We've got to wrap this up, sir. We've got to wrap this up. The knight still defends this pawn. I could push this pawn. Which is probably the plan. Come in here, hit the rook. Oh, that's also a fork on the pawn. And notice the rook can't move anywhere to defend the pawn because the bishop's in the way. Okay, you've noticed that. Okay. Is it just a good old fashioned then? Good old fashioned rook fork. And once any of these rearmost pawns, you can see that why these pawns are liabilities now, you see. Now this one's in danger. My rook could get trapped behind enemy lines here. If this pawn should fall, so what's he got to do? Is he got to do that? I think it's the only way of. Huh. Let's come here. I think so. Threatening this, threatening this. Hmm. So as so often I just played just had a lesson by previous to this with Sue as well. We played a two thousand bot, the Mar Coach Martin bot. And we did really well. It was just one blunder. Just one Move that we didn't calculate through. Am I bothered? You can't even go here. You can go there and hit the bishop, but then I take the pawn. It's all starting to go peak Tom. Hanging, hanging. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not going to analyse this game. I'm just going to say that was a fun game. Because I haven't got the brain on today. Brain's only on uh, eco mode right now. And we're actually plus five now. I'm actually up two pawns and a bishop, and we get resignation. Okay, good game, mate. Good game. All right, we'll have a quick look. Quickest look. Did I bugger up somewhere? Did I perform at 1400 plus? I did. 80% accuracy, but look. A blunderoo and five mistakes. Ouch ski. But then we hung on. So 1650. Well, that's not bad for somebody who's a bit short of sleep. Best move here. Oh, I suppose. I suppose so, yeah. And bishop can't defend, so knight kind of has to block. Yeah, knight has to block. Interesting. Okay. Didn't even consider it. Inaccurate. E5. 
shutting the door, gaining space. So where, where was my blunder? What was it? Did we see it in the game? Retaking was the wrong move. Oh my goodness. Why? No. And then I have to do this, right? Takes, takes. Oh my goodness. That's a sequence. That is a sequence. Well done if you spotted that one. And of course, you know, the... Look, I mean, you know, that was a game-winning opportunity. But not an obvious one. This one... That was his mistake. He should have played queen takes bishop, yeah. And they were equal. The, and that, my friend, I think was just a brain fart. That's, that's all that was. Because up until that point, that was a jolly good game. So, there we go, we'll leave it there. I enjoyed playing it. I hope you enjoyed it, Zinster54. I hope you boys and girls at home enjoyed watching. Sorry about the noise from the dogs. They've been very excited to see me today and they've had their treats, but uh, I'll try and catch up and, you know, make it up to you guys by making a few more videos over the next few days. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.